All right. We got a grilling. Stand out TV. I hope I stand out with you, you know. Do you remember my name? Yeah, Sinead. I'm just gonna leave. Oh, that's not even her name. Hi, I'm Simon Reynolds and I'm still on the lookout. I've had some good dates. I'm liking yeah. my views, like, do you know what I'm saying? It's all good right oh, now. Charmer, isn't ya? And I've had some bad dates. How do you think you've done on the date? I don't really give a sh I'm not gonna lie, bruv. Where are all the decent men? Not in my DMs, that's for sure. You get me, I feel like I'm rolling with the man then. What's going on? 95s! It seems like a lot of men don't know how to treat a lady. I'll just manhandle everything. You need to start putting a chest in chest and then that, like, jeez. Will I have better luck this season? What would you do if my ex was after you? He can have you. Let's I'm find right, out. Right, right. This is grilling. My name's Notes, and um, I'm here to date a beautiful woman. I might get a bit hot in the grilling, only because I've seen a couple grillings before and I'm not really trying to get grilled. Slyly, because she's actually very, very nice, you know what I mean? I don't really do dates. Nah, I just, you know, have fun, vibe out. I feel like I'm in Love Island, right? <laughs> do I want a relationship? Um, I mean, if she does everything that ticks all the boxes, then why not? What do I expect from a girl on the first date? Just be you, man. Be vibey, you know what I mean? Don't be too stuck up, but don't be too free up. Let's get it, you know what I mean? Let's get it on. <laughs> Who you think got better game, UK niggas or niggas from the States? Nigga said, really? <laughs> Nigga said, is that a question? Hey, man. The UK accent is OP. Nigga said they stink. US niggas got no riz. Mm. Nah. Caribbean riz is crazy. Who, wait, which state you think got the, like, sauciest niggas? Like, what state you think got the most, like, Tom game? Tom Holland, D.I.G. Bags, and Day and NGL. But he not a nigga, though. Mm. He counts, though. He's a guy from the UK, so. I'm not gonna lie. Baddest women gotta be Texas, bro. I don't know what's in y'all order, but oh my god. Every time I see a bad bitch, she's from Texas. I swear to you, I don't know what is in y'all water, bro. But them y'all popping them hoes out like it's nothing, bro. They all be they all be bad as hell and thick as fuck. Why, hello. Hello. How you doing? You alright? Uh -huh. I got you this. Oh, that's really nice. Quick, how you doing? You good? Let me give you a little hug. Oh, he actually just bought me a gift. Like, that's really cute. That's really thoughtful, you know. I hey. thought we might as well do the date properly. Ah, oh, see, I like this with um, some bit, style. Bit of bubbly. So, what's your name? Um, no, it's nice Cheyenne. to meet you. Cheyenne, nice yeah. Nice to meet you. All right, cool. So, do you do this to all the women you date? Um, no, I don't. Already fucking up. Why Nick can have just did something nice for you? Why do you always have to compare yourself to other women? Like what? Shit don't make no sense. I've never had a girl do something for me and be like, oh, is this how you did it to other niggas? Unless it was something bad. 
You feel me? Unless if a girl was like tripping off, I'd be like, is this how you operate all the niggas you fuck with? Because in my head, I'm like, oh, I see why you single type shit. Women be like, oh, you, you treat all the women this good? Like, what? You lying to me? Huh? You lying? No. Just seeing her for the first time ever is just like, you know, life changing for me. Um, I really hope that she can take me. This nigga is in love. Women are in secret competition with each other. It may not show, but they have way bigger egos than niggas. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. He trolling? I hope so. Man, women are the only motherfuckers who will go on a vacation with people they hate. Listen, five niggas who hate each other are not going on a vacation. Any listen, women will go on vacation with people they hate. They beefing with. They don't like her. I don't know why y'all invited that bitch on the trip anyways. <laughs> Should be hilarious, bro. Seriously, and... You know, just believe that I'm not some boy. You look amazing, by the way, before you carry on. He's a charmer, isn't he? Are you good at opening champagne? Oh, yeah, of course. Are you? What's in here? Do you want me to open it now? Or? Yeah, go on, go on. There's some chocolates that I like in there. So you Are you like, well. oh, so would you buy them for you? No, no, I'm just saying we could share together, innit? What's mine so what's is this? yours, what's yours is mine. You're a trophy. Oh. Okay. Smooth it. Smooth. <laughs> this guy's got a game. Can't lie. He's smooth with <laughs> oh, it. Oh, he's really cute. Woo. But chat, like I always say, set the bar at a moderate level. Because doing shit like this, she's going to expect you to do this shit all the time. The, the bar that you set the level at, your first impression is the most important. Because that sets the bar. You feel me? You do shit like this in the beginning early, they're going to expect a nine damn near every time and if you drop to like a three she gonna be like what the fuck wrong with this nigga but if you hit her with a six you drop to a three it's not as bad he's having an off day you go to a nine you're having a great day moderation very nice gotta make sure um, it doesn't bubble up i really i'm not a big drinker so i don't know any techniques i think she's loving this you know i'm not even gonna lie i think she's loving this right now is he trying to get me drunk so how many glasses um, of champagne do you pour for women? Um, barely any. Are you sure? You look like you're really good at this. Um, me and the man them like to celebrate. You sure? Because you can't make eye contact as you say that. Oh, no, I'm just making sure I don't spill the champagne anywhere. But um, me and the man them like to celebrate. OK, what do you like to celebrate? Clubs, um, studio, depends on what we're celebrating. OK, tell me a bit about you. So I like to make music. I've been doing that ever since I could talk. I like helping people make music as well. So how do you move as a, as a man to woman? How do I move to women? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You I don't just, know? I'm just myself. Do you not get women then? I'd like to think I do, but I might not. I don't know. Uh, these questions are a bit mad, you know. I didn't expect this. <laughs> He's definitely a playboy. How many women have you slept with? Uh, that number can run for time what do you mean come on for time I, you know what i'm a virgin i, I want to lie. lose my virginity to you can't i'd lie. love to lose my virginity to you. up to 100 or 100 plus it's a sticky one still so are you a ladies man no i'm just chilled man chilled. I don't, yeah i'm just chilled so on average how many women do you sleep with in a week what you oh say my God. For? this guy has slept with everyone in london you know what, recently I've actually chilled the f*** out and okay. it's mainly been like one person. So if I'm chatting to one person, I'll be f in that one person for as long as... Would you say you're good in bed? I'd like to believe so. I've been told I am. What's your technique in the bedroom? A lot. What's a lot? I like to carry. Yeah. So I'll pick you up, so basically. Throw you so in the air and leave like it. Carrying, All right, she needs to kind of ease off with trying to get into my business too much, you know. Enough about me, though. Why haven't you found a man yet? Why are we even on this date? You no, know what it is? I'm just trying to... Because we've had a few dates, innit? So, yeah, we've had a few. So, yeah, so what's going on? A lot of people are talkers, yeah. and it's like not many people's actions are congruent with their 
well, do you know, because it's like you can say you're a really good man and you yeah. do all this and tick all these boxes, but... So would you say you're a really good woman? Absolutely. What boxes do you feel you tick? All of them. Like, it's not What's even about... All, what boxes? It's not even about boxes ticking. It's because for me, I've spent the last few years like doing... I'm big on personal development. Mm. So I spent years on myself and making sure that I am a good woman. Okay. You know? And what does it take to be a good woman? I think just kind, caring, compassionate and selfless. Being a good woman in the home with love and with those around you and stuff, like a hub. So you feel like you can take care of a home? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's standard, but... Can you cook? Yeah, I can cook. Can you? Yeah, very yeah. great cook. Very great cook. Yeah, my man then would have, like, say high things about my cooking. Really? Girls would too, um, if they've been that close enough. So how many women do you cook for? Um, I think I've only cooked for, like, four. How many people have you actually slept with? Huh? I told you I'm a virgin. No, you're not. <laughs> How many people have you slept with? I want to lose my virginity to you. How many people have you slept with? Take my virginity, please. If you start off on honesty, you get a lot more. Yeah, the number is a lot. Okay, just say in between. Like, I, I don't even 100. know. I, I couldn't tell you. This is over 100. Right here. Probably. Have you ever like had sex with a fan? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why would you do that? Chat, y'all be fucking fans? I don't know. Nigga said, why not? Um, I was a bit young. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you'd never go back there? No, no, no. With no, a no, fan? No, 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 no. Nice, no, so you've learned from that. Yeah, Nigga said, I'm not you. Who told you I'd be fucking fans? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did you hear that? From my, what did you learn? From my many huh? mistakes. So how many fans have you slept with then? Many no, mistakes? No, no, I'm just saying many mistakes in general. It doesn't have to you, always you, be about be sleeping fans, with someone. I don't be having sex. Why do y'all even adhere these, you feel me? I'll be chilling. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to know what your body count is, though. Don't, I don't answer that question. Why? You fucked your and followers? Well, a lot of women that I've talked to or followed me, so that wouldn't make no sense. Fuck. Usually I don't even ask girls, no, but like this is very interesting. You've been really, really on to me. Why are you lying? So what if I slept no. with a hundred men? A hundred men? Nah, man, not for me, not and for me. Can't lie. Hair. Then that's on you. That's what you want to do. That's the amount of souls that you want to be tied to. That's on you. But then would that change the way you value See me you as a woman? About what? No, no, no. You could still be part of the clique. Yeah, but there's a difference. Being part of the clique and then being your woman are two different things. Men and women are two different things. No, 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 no. No, we are. So he's a playboy and he's sexist. You lot are very different. You have periods. We don't. We just have blue balls. You yeah, know so what I'm then why is it mad for us to then be as liberated as you are? I'm not saying that it's, it's mad. I'm just saying there's, there's a difference between men and women. You lot wow. feel more than we do. Yeah, but In general, right. emotionally, you lot have much more feelings than we do. And I'm not condoning my behaviour nor men's behaviour of this whole, oh, yeah, I can, um, I can sleep as, with as much girls as possible. I'm not condoning that. However, I would never condone a woman just freeing it up to everyone. By all means, you can do what you want to do but you can never be my wife. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we can be friends, we can be mad cool, I'll never judge you. I'm not a, I don't pussy watch, I don't judge people, rah, rah, rah. but you couldn't be my wife. Yeah, but why? I don't, like, for me, it's- Because you made your choice. You made your choice. You, you made your bed. to the Uber bitch on Tinder? She stopped responding. I don't get bitches. Why do y'all think I get hoes? You're lying it. You can't I'm have chilling. that energy for yourself and different for me. You've got a hundred people going inside your guts. Yeah, and you've gone in a hundred people's. Yeah, but exactly. You see the difference? I've gone in. You understand? But it's still energy it, it, exchange. In, in your situation, they will be going into you. So it's like your guts, guts have just been muddled up over a hundred times. But my will still say the same. You always selling or no, lying? It doesn't work like that. What? If you're 25 and you slept with a hundred people, you that's a bit of months. a concern as a girl. But what that's if you're single? What have you been single? Like... Your whole adult life. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of man. How long have you been single for? A few years. What's a few years? A few. She got a hundred plus What's bodies? It? Damn. She ain't even 25 yet? <laughs> Damn. Doing world numbers. A few years. Like three. Maybe four. Wow, so you've been racking up the numbers. No. 365, no. 365 days in a year. No. Times okay. how much? 
Three years, you said. That's roughly around a thousand something days. So where are you going with this? A thousand something days divided by 10. Yeah, you've probably been with her around 100 plus. 365 days times three. Nah, surely she's on her bits. She must be. I will say this though, women go a lot longer without having sex than men do sometimes. Like Here women can just chill. Three dollars. Bro, women can be sexually active and she automatically a oh, hoe. Shit don't make sense to me. You all be taking sex too serious in my opinion. Man, listen to me. I don't care what nobody does. You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong. If you want to go get fucked, go get fucked. But don't sit here and make it seem like I have to. Like, you feel me? You can do whatever you... Like he said, I'm never going to judge you. Would I cuff you? Fuck no. You feel me? That's the difference, though. That's the thing. Some of them want to be able to do that and then want motherfuckers to still be like, oh, yeah, she can still be somebody's wife. That's personal preference. I prefer if the girl that I end up with hasn't been fucked by plus 45 niggas. You feel me? Personally. That's just my preference. Ain't mean to say you can't get wiped by somebody. It just won't be this nigga. Where are you from? Around here. What's around here? Essex. Essex. Interesting. Why is that interesting? Well, who would you rather, Joey Essex or Notes? Notes. <laughs> oh, you're the best. Come, let's cheers, let's cheers. Thank you, babe. That's all I like. <laughs> nah, I'm warming up to him. He's cute. Do you like being famous? It does get a bit jarring, because it's like, I don't have my own personal space, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have my own privacy. I don't have my own... Every single time I wake up, I have to be in notes. You, you know what I mean? When I go to sleep, I have to be in notes. You gonna wake up to a picture of your wife getting trained one day. And these gonna be like, ain't this, ain't this, uh, your, ain't this, uh, your son mama? She gonna be getting a bukkake. <laughs> you gonna rethink your whole life decision, bro. Uh, nah, that shit gonna be funny. Niggas be like, I don't care how many bodies she's got. Marry a Riley Reed type female and then be upset when they find out her OnlyFans featured videos of her getting fucked religiously. Now your son in school fighting niggas because 12 year olds is like, your mommy used to be good. <laughs> crazy, man. You don't have to. No, you do, man. I can't go outside and just be angry. Mm -mm. And then a fan comes up to me wanting a picture and I'm just vexed and I'm like, fuck off. Like, I can't do that. But if I was who I am or the person before notes or whatever the case is, like somebody's trying to snap me, I'll tell them, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But now it's like, I don't know, like, I can't even get a wine in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't even dance in the corner and chill with a girl because somebody's trying to snap me. How is somebody. that for you? That's dead, but it is what it is. I'll just, I'll just tell them delete it, brother. I'll get one of my men to scare him to delete them. How does this affect your mental health? I always feel like I'm being watched. It feels like the Truman Show. Have you ever watched Truman Show? Oh my God, Show? I love that film. Yeah, I love that film as well. But that's what it actually feels like, genuinely. Like, I, I always feel like I'm being watched. Uh, she's got me chatting bare, innit? It might be the drink, though, I can't lie. <laughs> oh, he's actually opening up. Do you pussy? I've tried it, but I don't really enjoy it. Why? I don't know. It's not, it's not really my thing. I might just head out. So you've only ever done it once? Like you've no, only I've, it? I've done it like maybe twice or three times, just to confirm. What? You've only done it three times in your whole life? Yeah. Even in your serious relationship? She don't suck dick, she don't, but still. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a, I don't know. Eating pussy is like, I feel like sex, at least personally, is like art. And if she's not enjoying it, what the fuck is the point? Sex is better when she enjoys it, bruh. I'm telling you, nigga. I'm telling you. Look, y'all y'all might think you just want to get your nut off, whoop de whoop but you make that girl feel good. Yeah, man. Like, D-Block Europe was screaming about it, so I thought, yeah, you know what, let me try it. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me give it a try. Give it a taste. It can taste nice. Nah, man. And then if you good at it, bruh, listen, you know how many hoes you'll get off your own female that you fucking with because they bro listen women talk bro word spreads it, it goes from it's gonna be like oh, that nigga they're gonna be like they're gonna be like 
she gonna go up to her friends and be like, yeah, girl, I did that shit. Mm -hmm. Girl, I didn't believe it at first, but yeah. Now her homegirl who don't really like her, but like, you feel me, is around her because women be in circles full of women that have animosity towards them. It's going sliding your DMs. You gonna think it's a setup, but she really interested in fucking you because the girl that she doesn't really like said this shit was fire. Now she has to experience because if she can have it, why can't I type shit? You feel me? Um, they really go my way. Why Glock? Because I be on Glock ass, so I had to give him a little, you know what I mean? I had to get Glock a little boost. I had to gas him up a little bit. You feel me? I be on Glock ass. So, you know what I mean? I had to throw him in a scenario where Glock be getting hoes, you know what I mean? Type shit. I had to, man. You my dog. Drink your pineapple, should be right. No, no, no. If you're gonna do it, you need to be confident. Yeah, no. Because I feel like if you're just like a bit. No, I'm timid. Yeah, you yeah, can't I'm do that. No, I'm timid. No, I'm so shy. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Do you suck? Cheers. Why are we cheersing? Um, I'll say cheers. No, cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. Alright, you know, silence. That speaks a thousand words. She didn't even need to say anything. I could see it in her mind. I know she gives that mad arc. I could just tell. <laughs> he said he loved eating, so he'd be a good eater. <laughs> Glock, you an eater? When did you last have sex? Maybe like four or five days ago. Do you have sex just often? No, like I rate someone, so I'll be seeing them for however long that is. How long um, is that? So how long depends. roughly do you spend with someone before you move on to the next person? It depends, man. It depends what kind of connection we have. It depends what kind of history you might have. If we don't have any history at all, it depends what kind of person you are, whether I feel comfortable enough to be chilling with you and have you check in to the palace, you know? I feel like you're the type of person that will, sure. like, give boyfriend vibes and then the moment someone go, a woman's like, what are we? You're just like, you said, just friends. You said, I'm a good eater. You said, I love eating. Gluck, I'm literally staring at it. What do you mean? I mean, I'd eat the fuck out of a pussy. This is Glock. I love eating, so I'd be a good pussy eater. That's uh, So I said, Glock, you an eater? Nigga, what's wrong with you, food? Nigga, you said, bro, nah, Glock. You literally was just talking about pussy, nigga. You an eater, nigga. You just said it. You an eater. Glock, why are we arguing, bro? You just said you an eater, my nigga. You literally just said that. I feel like you give me that vibe <laughs> that you'd kind of lead someone I'm on it. pussy eater. You still an eater, nigga. You a real gobbler, huh? You be eating. To thinking it's going somewhere. Uh, this is long. <laughs> this guy is not serious. Uh. Naturally, I am a loving person, you know. I grew up with my mum mainly, you know what I'm saying? She had me at a super young age, 17. I've just been caring towards women. So if I have a woman in my presence and she's actually chilling with me for quite a while, whatever the case is, I'm naturally going to show love towards her. That doesn't mean that I'm in love with her, though. I'm sure you are loving after sleeping with 5,000 people. Yeah, you're dangerous. Uh, that's, it's just that's the truth. The word. How is that dangerous? Like, How can I show you love for two weeks and you think I'm in love with you and you want to move in, get married, and have kids? No, Are but that's crazy? what I'm saying. You're doing something. Listen, no, no, if, I'm if not. We're, if I'm we're not. Moving I'm just like being that. a man. I'll take you out. I'll make you feel good whenever we do. We'll go to a club if you want so I'm to. Saying you're we'll selling vibe dreams. out in a club. That's not selling dreams. That's hanging with someone. That's yeah. But that's do you being make able it clear to... then? Like, if we're doing all that and you're giving me all this energy, then out of nowhere, we're going to be doing all of that. If we're doing all that, yeah. and then out of nowhere, within a few weeks, you're just like, oh, by the way, we're just friends. Can but you not I, see where I, the issue I wouldn't, is? I wouldn't say that unless you're giving me signs that you want to take this further than I do. Do you have commitment issues then? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I thought so. Like essential to you. So how, how do you deal with that? I don't know, man. I just continue to be me. Did you just shout out know, She keeps C? talking about commitment issues like she's central C. She needs to relax. It's so to you. It's not. This is literally TK. I ain't gonna lie, we have a lot of very similar mindsets about things. None of our business, none of our issues. No, so you're not going to take any accountability for your behaviour or your actions? Um, cheers. <laughs> no, I'm not cheersing until you answer it. Cheers. Cheers to you being what? A bit of a... Out. Yeah? <laughs> Let's put do that a cheers, down. Do a cheers. <laughs> 
Well, here I am trying my best to, you know, do the best, and she's out there just disrespecting me. Like, what? A dick? Me? A dick? No, blood. Do you think people go with you for your lifestyle instead of you? Sometimes I think that. So how do you which deal with that? Why, which is, that is potentially like what could be part of the commitment issues. I didn't know you from before I was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why do you want me? Facts. I didn't know you before I was TK. You don't know Tamashi, you just know Scum TK, baby. Fuck. So does that play into how you view women? Slowly. But I still vibe, I still have a good time. And if you can show me past that, then by all means we get past that. But then if you, you can't show me past that, then you'll end up staying where, you know, wherever I stop. So how does a woman show you that? Just being genuine. Just being genuine? Yeah, man. Just being real. Getting your own Ubers when, you know, when you want to come see me. Just little tiny stuff like that means a lot. Like, oh, yeah. You a girl Uber to me, I'd be like, okay, so you really like me. You want to see me? All right, cool. So you figure out something to do for us to see each other or whatever. Oh, let's go cinema. I bought us two tickets. Like, that will make me think, rah. Like, even if the tickets cost £20 or whatever the case is, is that, bro, she fully took her time out to go and plan something for us and bought two tickets for Isaiah, us. We're going for dinner. Months. Isaiah, how you got a founder's badge and you only a nine months old? Yeah. What's up? Relax. I had a question for you. Um, I'm streaming, by the way. Heads up. Oh, God. Um, what I was about to say. Fuck, I forgot it, bruh. Chat, what was my question? Oh, when you go to the club or bars or whatever, how often do you buy your own drinks? <laughs> I'm just curious. And I wanted to split the bill. I don't know. So you don't buy your own drinks at the club, right? But it's a rarity. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. That's all I wanted to do. Why? Because I was watching a video and it was like girls don't buy their own drinks in the club and I was like they don't for what? Okay, and then half the time, you you guys come up to you and be like, can I buy you a drink? And you be like, sure, but I don't want to fuck with you. Then you run away. Type shit, right? And you be or you tell them you don't want to fuck with them, right? And they're like, oh really? You running away? Yeah, no. Yeah. See, I'm telling niggas. I was trying to tell them you're not gonna bag no girls at the club. If a girl says yes to a drink at the club. She's probably gonna run away from you because she thinks you're weird now, and then you just bought her drink. You know what I'm saying? Wasting your money. Exactly. It's always the weird guys who want to buy you drinks. I'm telling you, man. So, listen, you, you, you listen, it. young niggas. I'm. You heard it here first from a girl, bro. They don't think you. No, no normal niggas going up to a random woman and buying her a drink, bro. So they obviously yeah. think they're gonna take the drink, unless but you're not. Unless you're like already talking. Like, you guys are, have been talking for a minute, but if you just walk up to a girl and be like, can I buy you a drink? Like, that's creepy as fuck, but we'll take it and then run away, so. All right, yeah. appreciate you. All right, bye. Look, I'm telling y'all, man. We wasn't finna do it. I know nobody in Scum would do it, but you know, there are those individuals who don't know no better. On first date, would you split the bill on first date? I wouldn't date? split the bill, Biggest but I'll next. be so happy that you've wanted to split the bill. Like, inside me, I know, all right, cool, I can go on a couple more dates with you. Have you ever taken a girl on tour? No, but I'll take you on tour. Like, stop trying to sweet talk me. I'll take you on tour. I'm being no. serious. Like, why do you think I'm joking? I like your vibe, I like your aura. What can I say? Do you think? I, li I like the energy that I get off of you. Really? I think I'm... We've talked about women's rights for so long. It's time to discuss their wrongs. Mm, I'm about to make that a bar. Mmm, that's a bar low key. I ain't gonna lie, that's a, that's a bar low key. Hold on, you getting writer credits if I ever go platinum with that bar. That's a bar low key. Mmm, listen. Mmm, I ain't gonna lie, that's a bar, bro. Money bag JC, you spitting. Mmm, mmm. I ain't gonna lie, I like those. Mmm, that's 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 one of them bars. You feel me? That's one of them bars you hear in a song. You be like. Mm. That shit resonate with you. Mm, I need that motherfucker. I'm gonna write that motherfucker down right now. That's that's a bar. That's a hook, nigga. Fuck.
Mm-mm-mm. A bit cold. She doesn't even... I feel like you're a bit warm. I might have to leave, you know. I'm not gonna lie. She doesn't even believe a word that I say anyways. You're selling a lifestyle and you're selling the dream to me. So realistically, how are you actually gonna find a good woman if you're doing not that? Not necessarily, though. I'll be able to sense or like preset and mannerisms of that person, for example, yourself. Um, if I was to have you around me and showing you this lifestyle, whatever the case is, you could try. What are your thoughts on paying for box? You're paying for box regardless. It's just a roundabout way of doing it. Unless a shawty's fucking you off the strength of who you are, which rarely happens. Unless you're like Drake or Future or Kanye or any one of these celebrity niggas with insane amount of clout, you're paying for pussy. And even clouded niggas pay for pussy. The image that you're perceiving is paying for pussy, my nigga. Nobody wakes up straight out they shit, doesn't brush their teeth and hoes be like, let me s fuck you. No, nigga. Anything you do is, I mean, not necessarily like regular hygiene and shit, but the the flashy shit, the, the why you think niggas stunt? For hoes. Why do you think niggas be drippy? For hoes. You think they doing this shit for niggas? The fuck? No. Niggas don't care about that shit. Hoes care about that shit. And then, what hoes care about, niggas care about. You feel me? That's why a lot of niggas, the, the clothes, all that shit, the jewelry. The reason why other niggas care about the shit that they see rappers and sh niggas wear is because that's what gets the bitches. That's what the bitches is looking at. They see the rappers, they're like, oh, he got all that shit. Why you think niggas buy designer? To look good for the hoes. Like, nigga, I'm telling you, the whole world comes down to pussy, bro. Dr main driving force in the world, pussy. And the reason why the niggas with all the money in the world don't give a fuck about it no more is because they've had so much of it because it's been thrown at them. So now they're like, all right, whatever. But nah, man, pussy run the world. Pussy run the world. Really do. Try and act as though you're a genuine person, but you can only keep that act up for... Nah, I just want bread. Why do you want bread? To be elite. To be somebody so you could fuck mad hoes. Right? So you could, so people could look at you and be like, damn, that's that nigga right there. Feel me? You're not gonna get mad bread and disappear off the face of the earth and go live in a log cabin. That's not what you're gonna do. You're gonna be on IG stunning. You're gonna be buying cars and doing all that shit. Granted, you might have these material desires because you really like them things, but part of it breaks down to you wanting to flex so the hoes see you. Because you see niggas do that and that's what gets the hoes. So I can take care of my mom and family? Yeah, I that's, a, that's part of it, but that's not, you feel me? Culture, y'all, yeah, give me money, I'm disappearing to be loaned away from these niggas. The thing about it is with money comes power, and with power comes eyes on you. You feel me? I don't give a fuck what you got. If you Y'all denying it now, but in the moment with over a million in your bank account, you gonna take the pussy no matter what. I'm telling you, bro. I want bread so I can live life how I want to. How do you want to live life? You want to see the world, right? You want to do extravagant things. You want to be around bad bitches, my nigga. <laughs> like, bro, y'all don't even realize it, bruh. Literally, all the things, and I'm not saying this is because of it's a bad thing or it's all, like, all of it. But a main driving force for a lot of the things that you want in life is bitches, bro. You're just horny? All right, man, hey. If you say so, bro. TK, that's your mindset? I guess. A certain that's amount of time, a limited time. So, Lamar, a, a lot of the niggas, right, the same niggas that say, TK, this is your own mindset, just was in chat talking about some, they'd give Ruby Rose whatever she needed for a night with her. You niggas is some hypocrites, bro. Literally. You nigga, the same niggas in chat who's just telling me, TK, that's your mindset, was just in chat spamming, oh my god, Ruby Rose, I give you everything for it. Like, shut up, bro. You niggas corny. God damn. I, like, I hate you niggas, bro, because y'all, like, squid, like, bro, it's not, it's not wrong to be honest with yourself, bro. Like, Jesus Christ, Ruby Rose, whatever her name is. Not me, man. You wasn't even here when we was doing this shit, bro. Same niggas in here talking about some pussy don't motivate them. Man, if I had this and what's her name asked for it, I'd give it to her. 
I'd give it to her. I like, bro, shut up, bro. <laughs> like, damn, man, y'all niggas some cappers, bro. What's our red flag like, for you? Oh my um, god. That's... Yes, money would help you do other things, and there's probably more you want to do with money. But one of the main things that you want to be wealthy and famous and seen for, why you niggas is rapping and shit, is for the hoes, bro. Like, oh my god. Toenails. Did you like faint? My feet are and, not. And, and I feel like niggas think I'm saying it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but it's the truth. It's not a bad thing. Our main goal is facts, block. Our main goal as human is to reproduce. All that other shit is cool, but you want to leave something on the earth, right? And niggas want to reproduce with the baddest bitches. No, it ain't. Man. Oh, great. All right, bro. Y'all got it, bro. Y'all got it. Great, but I love a woman with great feet. So would you have a foot fetish? I don't know if it's a fetish. I just love great feet. So you put my foot in your mouth? It depends what kind of scenario we're in. Oh. You acting like the reason why we strive for our goals is to get pussy. I didn't say that, but it's one of the major factors in why niggas do the things they do. Why do you buy designer clothes? Why did you buy that Supreme tee with a box Saying that you that don't want Supreme. pussy isn't going to get you nowhere. I hope you all know that. Why did you buy that vape jacket? The jacket wasn't insanely tough. Because I like that tee? Alright, man. You watch. Lesbian. So, let me ask y'all this. Why don't y'all wear fake hypocrites. Why don't y'all wear fake shit? If you money and clout, you will be able to be in the same, the same room as he is with her or that kind of girl. Why don't y'all buy fake shit? People do. I'm asking y'all. But y'all clown people for it. Too much self-respect. Why? It's made in the same place. One just has the official label. One doesn't. It looks the exact same. Lamar, you don't buy fake shit. Y'all niggas, see, I, I'm done, bro. Y'all niggas, see, niggas be capping, though. That's the thing. Y'all not being, you know, nigga, if I didn't, wasn't talking about what I was talking about, would admit to buying fake shit. This is why I can't stand having conversations with y'all. Because y'all bullshitting, bro. Some niggas dress for themselves. I guess so. You right. Yeah, sometimes. Lesbian. I like two girls. What, so do you have threesomes, then? Yeah. How many threesomes have you had? Like, it happens quite a lot. Is it your idea or like the No, sometimes I'm just shocked. How noble of you just to help a woman out. If that's what they want. You know, you've got to give women what they want. He thinks he's so... I, bro, Glock, it's no point, bro. Just end the conversation because we're not going to get nowhere, bro. Niggas ain't even being honest no more, bro. Because being honest, a lot of... Like, granted, some of y'all do like the fashion shit and cool, but y'all like, like the appeal y'all get when somebody be like, yo, your fit went crazy. Or if a girl tell you, your fit went crazy. Look at it like this, right? If a nigga said, hey bro, your fit's tough. Versus if a girl was like, oh my God, you look good. Which one hits harder? Be honest. And maybe if you're gay, let me ask you, if a, cause it might be, but if you're gay, it still breaks down to the same thing cause you just want a different type of, you want bussy instead of pussy, but still, you feel me? Nigga said, dude, not gonna lie. All right, man. Y'all niggas be. Smooth. Or we're not all attention whores? Y'all gotta be trolling, bro. You're trolling. Y'all got it, bro. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. So how do you deal with, like, grief as a man? I don't know, like, being able to just confine in people as well is, is, is important. I feel like laughing and smiling is super important as well, because I laugh and smile a lot. But I only do no that because life, there's a lot that I've been through. I'm not saying that they have children, childish mindsets. I'm just saying, like, they're not being honest with what really drives a lot of their desires.
Like, it's not a bad thing, but a lot of y'all niggas are making it seem like or, or capping, bro. You feel me? Pussy don't drive my desires. I don't know what I'm through talking. or a lot that the people around me have been through, and the best way to kind of deal with that is just you talking like it's everything, but it's almost what basically no, never mind. Bro. To oh, laugh man. about it. The crying's important, though. No, it really is, man. It really is. Rest in peace, Jamal Edwards as well. He passed away recently. I don't know um, that's sad. But yeah, like it's it's crazy to see it happen. Even fresh ego kid Mar Marvin Morgan, it's mad. But the best thing we can do is be there for them in whatever way, and carry on doing, fulfilling their legacies and shit. Yeah, I like that. Absolutely. Niggas is making it more complicated than it has to be, bro. Don't they? What do you influence in your music? Uh, I, I just niggas stop talking about it. Not going nowhere. Just react to the video. I got you, big dog. Here's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm going to hit you with that because don't tell me what the fuck to do. And I'm going to hit you this one. I'm sorry, grunts. I'm sorry that it had to be like this. I just like to spread... So now you bend and you got to add. That's Love, cool. spread happiness, spread joy. Like letting people know that, yeah, like you're bigger than whatever you think you are. What's your favourite track of yours? Just me or... Or collaboration, however you want to take the question. Probably Love of My Life um, with Young Ads. Um, big up Remedy on the, on the buttons, but yeah, that's Why probably nice? my favorite. Because it has different meanings to it. And it was because me and him were standing in the booth and it was one mic and we're just moving each other away when we're ready to spit. It was mad natural, it, was like, it felt old school, you know what I mean? And because you're the love of my life also. Yeah, no, I think she's the one. Maybe the two, or the, or the three, or four, or five. So how do you shoot your shot? Excuse me, miss. You come with that, yeah? <laughs> You're right. What if I said, no, I'm having a bad day? I want to make that day a bit better. Where are you heading to right now? Home. Heading home. How about we go grab some ice cream? That's quite cute. Or hot chocolate, so if it is cold, you know what I mean? Wonder. Have me to talk to, you know what I'm saying? You can confine in me. What's then going on in your day? What's up? And then, are you expecting sex on that day? <laughs> Bro, listen. You wanna know how important pussy is to niggas? Niggas, rooms will be fucking disgusting. And shorty could be like, I might come over tonight. Whole house clean. But niggas don't wanna sit here. And Bro. Y'all got it, man, bro. Y'all niggas is hilarious. No, 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 of course not. You I wouldn't even expect that to be a date. Bro. I'm just, you know, I've just met bro, you. I'm talking to you. I'm funny, trying to make sure that you're okay because you told me you're having a bad day. Ah, that's the pen tip. niggas, all of you niggas, bro. There is not a single nigga in here who the moment a girl comes over, he doesn't look at his room and be like, is my room dirty? And cleans his shit. You know how I know? Y'all niggas, like, bro, it gets to the point niggas go clean their bathroom. They room and they scrub their bathroom in case you gotta use the bathroom. Cause I like bro, shut up, bro. I hate cappers, bro. Y'all need to be bullshit, bro. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's that deep, man. Say for someone that wasn't in like your world or your industry. Uh. Do you not see as it being like really bad? My house no. not dirty, my house not dirty either. But, Stop you know, trying so hard to be different. If you say y'all don't, then guess what? Y'all don't get bitches. Simple as that. I ain't cleaning shit for no y'all. I'm leaving the walk hard and all that all over the place. <laughs> I on the care gangsta. Ain't that why your bitch was cheating on you? <laughs> Nigga say he not cleaning no house for no female. Didn't your girl cheat on you? How did that play out for you? Tell me. How did that play out for you? How did that play out for you? Like, like niggas, niggas want to know why shit happens the way it does? <laughs> like, tell me, how did that end up? But this shit is crazy, man. I'm telling you, the jokes write themselves, bro. I'm not even funny for real. You niggas is funny. Uh, if I had a girl, or if you were my girl, let's put it like that. 
when you're my girl. I ain't even funny. Like you niggas you were liking pictures bro. of celebrity people. Like, let's say Stormzy was still on the gram and you're liking Stormzy's pictures. I don't know. I wouldn't <laughs> automatically start saying you're fing Stormzy. I guess you pussy does run over, bro. Listen, I'm not saying pussy is the driving factor for every single man. But to sit here and pretend like it's not a very big factor for the decisions you make is a lie, bro. Y'all niggas be bullshitting, bro. Like, come on. It's not the, obviously, it's not the main thing drive. It's not the only thing in your head. But before you go out, you be like, damn, I look good? You be like, hmm, am I going to get bitches dressed like this? Is the hoes going to like these pics? You post your IG pictures for the niggas? No. You post them for the bitches. You don't scroll through your IG and looking at what niggas liked your pictures. You see which bitches liked your pictures. So stop it, bruh. Like, oh my God. And if you do like, do it for the niggas, it's the same concept. You doing it for the people that you're trying to attract. The people that you're interested in sexually. You feel me? It's not that deep. Obviously, you're right. I know I'm right. You ain't got to tell me, nigga. I know when I'm spitting, nigga. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit yeah. mad, isn't it? You can like things, isn't it? It's not that deep. But... Yeah, it's just a like. But then at the same time, if you're consistently <laughs> liking <laughs> some of these pictures, it could raise a concern. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if man. you're genuinely into that person's music, a into lot what of they do, yeah, like a fan. yeah, you're a fan of their, they're for the community, whatever the case is, and I can realise that, all right, cool, now you actually genuinely yeah. like that person, there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah. I've got fans that might have boyfriends. You know what I'm saying? So what? They shouldn't like my picture just because they have a man and their man's about it. Nah, man. All right. Here's my question on this, bro. That thing where your girl is like fan, like is like standing another nigga. I'm, it's cool being a fan. I like music. But the way some of these girls be like, oh my God, Derek! Listen. The way some of these girls be like, Derek! Or like, Kentrell! Or like, Lil Baby! You feel me? I could never date a girl who like, stands somebody. Because at that point, you picking that nigga over me? That's tough. Imagine she go to a, 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 a dirt concert and he say he trying to fuck on her. Your bitch going to bust it open. That moment. She going to get nutted in. She going to let the whole team hit if she get a chance at Dirk. She let niggas run a train on her she get a chance at Dirk. That's your bitch? Never could be me, bro. Oh, my God, D-Book? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Book my dog. That's my favorite player. You feel me? But not even book. Like, you feel me? Like, come on. Not even book. I'm like, damn, bitch. Like, I get it, but damn. Like, come on. Like, I'm like, damn. I can't, bro. I know Mario would have it. Nah, that nigga Mario said he let Drake fuck his bitch. But some niggas take, you feel me? I can't even be mad at him because that's his idol, bro. Imagine fucking a bitch that your idol fucked. I'm going to feel like this shit. What, nigga? Okay. Now, if it's your bitch and your idol fucked your bitch, that's different. I understand what you say in TK, nigga, but I'm the day out of a breakup. Can idol? you please chill? I am sick. Aren't... You'll be okay, man. No ill, you sick? What you mean? Bruh, so... You wouldn't fuck a bitch, right? And in your head, be like, damn. She be fucking with rappers. That's not like, you feel me? And I'm not saying that's a mindset that everybody should have. But you want to think of that like, damn, I'm fucking an IG model type bitch. You going to sit here and be like, fuck her girl? You going to sit here? No. Listen, you, you fucking an IG model. I'm be like, I'm fucking IG model bitches. She got rappers in her DM and she let me kill. Fuck, nigga. Like, huh? We talking about before a relationship? Bro, I'm talking about if it's a bitch, a bad bitch, and she let me kill. Not my girl. If my girl let a rapper fuck, that's different. That's, you cheated on me, that shit gonna hurt. I don't know what Mario talking about. That nigga's tripping off this shit. But if I'm fucking a girl, and I know she's been with upper, you feel me, echelon niggas, I'ma feel some type way because she looked at me and compared me to that echelon of nigga. You feel me? That's the nigga she's with, and she decided I could fuck her. Like, nigga, I feel like the shit. I'm there, nigga. You feel me? Like, come on. What? Like, you see? That's what I'm saying, bro. She think she, she fucking upper, she's fucking millionaires. And she let me fuck? Nigga, oh yeah, I'm gassed up. I feel like the shit. What, nigga? Y'all tripping, bro. 
y'all bugging. It's you know what I mean. That's like look. That's like if Rihanna let you fuck. You fucked Rihanna, nigga. And I'm not saying that girl is Rihanna. But if you, it's it's the pride of knowing that you got something that not everybody could get. You did something not everybody could do. You feel me? Now, if it's a girl that everybody smashed, but if it's like a bad bitch and you know she only fuck with elite, top of the cream type niggas and she lets you smash, you're not going to sit there and be like, damn, I really got it like that. I'm a saucy ass nigga. I got game. Like, you feel me? Nigga, y'all see what I'm saying though? I'm, I'm going to be like, damn, I really got it like that, nigga. What? She fucking on Drake? I don't even... That nigga, that's Drake! You see, like, come on, son. She fucking on Drake and she let me fuck? Nigga, I'm untouchable. Fuck? The hell? You know how many hoes want that nigga Drake? And she decided that I'm on that level? <laughs> fuck, nigga, come on, man. Nigga said, yes, yes, I'm one of them. I'm about to go to the bathroom. just a hornball sex addict who is balding and glock a fat dick rider who can keep his mouth away from food and dick. And you a perk popping addict who girl getting fucked right now with some, by a nigga in Atlanta with some dirty socks. How that make you feel? My fault. My fault. Let me just spark up Lamar really quick. Let me just spark up Lamar really quick. That shit crazy, boy. Boy, I tell you, that shit crazy. Ooh, boy, that shit crazy. That shit crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, I tell you, that shit crazy. Mm, boy, that shit crazy. That shit crazy, boy. Boy, I tell you, that shit crazy. Mm -mm -mm. That shit crazy. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Nigga, I up the score. How you up the score? How you win? Let me see this shit, bro. What did you even say? Lamar, you can't win against me, bro. Lamar, I'm taking this next shot for you, my boy. Shit done got Sears. Uh, up the score. I'm up on the scoreboard from both them niggas, gangsta. Oh, she fucked two niggas? Lamar, stop! Bro, bro, bro. Lamar, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Please stop, man. Stop, bro. Stop. <laughs> I was about to say, how you up the score on me and Glock when you be in my DMs like a fan? Like a young lady. Lamar B.A.T.K., did you see this? I'm like, mm. <laughs> Like, bro, Lamar, this is not the smoke you want. I promise you, bro. Bro, I'm not going to show the DMs. Y'all seen enough of them, bro. 
Bro, I'm not going to show the DMs. I'm done doing that to Lamar, bro. But just, Lamar, come on. You could never talk crazy to me, bro. Let me look his name up in my DMs right now, bro. Bro, listen. He be, listen, it's gotten so bad about how I'm cooking him. The nigga swiped up on my story and was like, I want to say something positive, but I know you're going to call me a store runner. Like, bro, just say what your heart wants to say, bro. Come on, Lamar. You my dog, but, like, why did we go to war? <laughs> bro, I ain't going to lie. This shit is crazy. Because you keep trying to talk crazy to me. Lamar. It's okay. What's up, Posty? Uh, all right, let's finish this video. See you again. My heart. Oh my God. <laughs> I actually thought that was her, no. Oh yeah, no, that's amazing. Would you want to see me again? No, I'd love to see you again. What do you mean by- Nigga, you up this going on block. You down 30 back to me right now, bruh. See me again, physically on TV. Would you? So I'm not talking about YouTube, I'm talking about like real life. Okay, where are we going? Um, wherever you want to go, London Eye. If would you just take everyone to London Eye? I've never taken anyone to London Eye. I'd let him take me to the London Eye. I really like Fort, but if you've taken me somewhere, you've taken another woman, it will make me so mad. I won't take you to Phuket, Thailand. I won't take you to... You was taking bitches to Thailand, my nigga? You go to Thailand for the bitches. You gotta be careful though. They got some, they got some, you know what I mean, out there. <laughs> Thailand is devious. You about, you gotta be careful. Thailand got some muff. <laughs> you gotta be careful, nigga. Thailand is not for the bitches. What's up, Davis? Nigga called me scum. Hi, scum. We gonna play one-on-one -on -one for the, uh, Diseases? You niggas is fucking hoes without condoms? I mean, I don't have sex anyway, so. What's up, Davis? Portugal, Algarve. I won't take you, you to man? Milan or Rome. Do so you just take women places? Appreciate the three months. Damn. That's love. I appreciate the three months, Davis. Isn't just, that's it. No. Why are you not making eye contact? I'm just. One dollar. Lamar could have been in Cancun with Shorty. Legs up in the air drinking coffee if his room was cleaned. Now he gotta use that bread for rehab in Utah due to thoughts of that land and nigga mouth fucking the shit out his girl. You overdose on the perks trying to forget it. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Nah, I gotta play one. I gotta play one of Glock's sad beats, bro. Glock. 